this case is really bugging me, Constable Bamble. No use getting a bee in your bonnet, my dear earwig. Hi, Mom. Oh, hey, sweetie. <gasps> Daniel, I asked you to vacuum the apartment. Oh, yeah. I got it out, but then I got caught up pretending it was an elephant. Oh, never mind. Brush your teeth, go to the bathroom, and then straight to bed, okay? Mom needs to rest her eyes for five minutes. <laughs> Elementary, my dear Earwig. The culprit was... Hey! They were about to reveal who did it! I bet it was Mrs. Ladybug. Shh! Mom is really tired when she gets home from work. Tired? Tired? From playing squirrel all day? Sorry, but that's not what I call a real job. Hey, I'll have you know Mom works really hard. And she also does the laundry, the shopping, the cleaning. Try being a world champion. Now that's a lot of work. Taking care of your skin, keeping your agent in line, taking selfies. You have no idea. You wouldn't last two hours in Mom's shoes. Oh, yeah. Daniel. There we go. It's five in the morning. Mom will be waking up soon. Not today, Daniel. Not today. You unplugged her alarm? Shh. Today, you and I are going to play squirrel. What? But that's Mom's job. We can't do that. If your mom can do it, how hard can it be? Hey! What? Hmm, vacation. Cruise ship in the tropics, all inclusive. Well, maybe Mom could use a little time off. Okay then, Eriko, but we've got to nail this. No way are we going to get Mom in any trouble. Don't worry. By day's end, everyone's going to respect Mr. Squirrel. <laughs> Some delicious chocolate cocoa squares. A balanced breakfast with vitamins B12, B14, and B17. Hey, what kind of hellhole is this? It's Mom's job. We need to sell all of these boxes of cereal, Erico. People pay to eat this? Yes, Erico. Because the secret to a balanced breakfast is delicious chocolate cocoa squares. <laughs> hey, this ain't so bad. <laughs> Erico, what are you doing? Hmm, you're right. What am I doing? This would taste a lot better with some milk. We're supposed to sell them, not eat them. I'm just having one last bowl. Hang on. They have toys inside? Yeah, but it's not for you, Erico. It's for the kids. Mosquito claw again. Man, it's clown tooth that I need. Hey, pass me another box there, Daniel. That was the last one, Erico. You've cleared the entire shelf. There are none left. Clown tooth. Don't do it. That's stealing. A mosquito claw again. And boom. We get to go home early. Who's the man now? We got fired, Erico. No, we didn't. We quit. Okay, whatever. Hurry up, Erico. We can't be late for Mom's second job. Yeah, her what? An all-you-can-eat seafood buffet for free. You're the host with the most, Captain. Oh, Captain. Hammers, wrenches, nails. Don't miss our half-price sale. Daniel, remind me, what are we doing here again? It's Mom's second job. You have to point the arrow towards the hardware store to attract customers. Uh. Who rocks mics till they bust and swell, Joe? It's just another fact of life for me, really. All around town, people trying to get down. Whoa! I love these guys. I don't know what they're selling, but I'll buy it pronto. Wow! They're good! Finally, a real challenge. Hang in there, Daniel. I'll show you how to dance with an arrow. 
Okay, plan B. We get rid of the competition. But they're just doing their job. Boo! You call that dancing? What's up, you big chicken? You wanna dance? Come on, then. Come on! Eriko, no! Don't start trouble! What are you scared of? Of a big owl? And a weasel? Who rocks mics till they bust as well, Joe? Did you see the thrashing we gave them? Eriko, they kicked our butt! And we got fired! Yeah, well, frankly, your mom should thank us. Arrow twirler. What's up with that? I hope things go better at the next job. Wait. There's a next job? Oh, Captain, you're terrible. Look out! Iceberg dead ahead! Iceberg? Iceberg? Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. It's a snake. I wanted a tiger. Okay, who's next? I want a dinosaur. I want a pony. And here's a triangle. Okay, another snake. Snakes for everyone. Aww. Erico, at least make an effort. They don't seem very happy. Nah, don't worry. We'll redeem ourselves with the cake. Hurry up, Daniel. We haven't got all day. We need to do a good job. It's Timmy's birthday. Yeah, well, Timmy will have other birthdays. And I'm tired. Happy birthday to you. Ah! Do you smell something burning? Ah! It's all right, everybody. Okay, so playing squirrel's not so easy. We got fired again, and Mom's costume is ruined. Yeah, am I glad this day is finally over. Are you kidding? We still need to go cheer on the hockey team, sell tickets at the theme park, walk dogs, prune trees, clean the sewers, and drive this bus. And careful with the paint job. Fired! 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 <sighs> it's just you and me now, Christelle. If we want to get out of here, we gotta stick together. We'll need to find food. <sighs> oh, I can't feel my legs. Mom lost all of her jobs because of us. Empty? No clean clothes? And nobody vacuumed? I told you, Erico. On top of her work, Mom also does the shopping, the cleaning, and the washing. <gasps> you mean she does all that by herself every day? Mm hmm Your mother is a saint, Daniel. But now she's gonna wake up to a filthy apartment. Mm-hmm. With no costume. Mm hmm And no job. Mm-hmm. Nah, I'm sure she'll manage. <laughs> we gotta make this right, huh? Sorry, Christelle. I was just too thirsty. Oh. We did it, Daniel. We finally did it. Yeah, but there's still the shopping, the cleaning, and the laundry. <sighs> Okay, 
Five minute break and then we'll go make breakfast. <sighs> okay. <sighs> oh, I slept so well. Oh no! I slept so well! Oh, it's okay. I'm not late. Wow! Thank you for doing the vacuuming, sweetie. Then you'll see Sue shoots, and he scores. Oh, nice jacuzzi. Does it come gold-plated? <laughs> No way! I know! At that price, it's a steal! No! That guy over there! That's the sorcerer who turned me into a ball! Some faces you never forget. <laughs> Let's get out of here before he sees us! That guy is insane! Daniel? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Sorcerer. Lettuce or toaster? Hmm? Hmm. Ah. Why not both? Hmm. Ah! <laughs> Thank you, boy. You're crazy to go talk to him. I mean, have you seen that guy? He does seem a little weird. But if we ask him nicely, I'm sure he'll give you your body back. A little weird? A little weird? <laughs> Excuse me, but I think this is my car. <laughs> I always forget. I don't have a car. <laughs> Little weird. Maybe he's car sick. <laughs> a little weird. Maybe he's in a really big hurry. Stop making excuses for him! That's right, enough excuses! Who are we talking about? Ah! Hey, I know you! You were at the supermarket! Don't you recognize me? Hmm? Erico Platana! Hmm. The best footballer in the world? Hmm. You turned me into a ball! <laughs> you ruined my life! Nah, still nothing. Why don't you join me for dinner? <laughs> I do love company. Okay, you create a diversion, and I'll escape through the window to get help. That's rude, Erico. If we're nice and polite, I'm sure he'll give you your body back. <laughs> It's a family recipe. <laughs> Dark meat or light meat? Bon appetit. Are you kidding? Come on! Mmm, tasty but light. Someone's watching their waistline.
Oh, what a night. You'll have to give us that recipe. Aw, you're just saying that. <laughs> Let's do this again soon, yeah? Good night, Mr. Sorcerer. You are amazing, Eriko. Another evening like that, and I'm sure he'll give you your body back. Or maybe we take matters into our own hands. Into our own hands? Because I've got his hands. Get it? You stole his hands? Stole? More like Bara. We need to give them back right away! Don't worry, he won't even notice. I mean, the guy is a bit... But you don't even know how to use them! No, I'm sure it's gonna work. Like magic. Because they're magic hands. Get it? Howdy. It's always a pleasure to see new faces in this town. Oh, yeah, it's a quiet neighborhood. I like small towns. You know, it's just more friendly. Well, maybe a little training wouldn't hurt. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. You go first, Eriko. Okay, here we go. Transform Jet Ski. Jet Ski. Jet Ski. Jet Ski. Mamma mia. Uh, spaghetti. It's not working, Eriko. It's never too late to apologize. We can still work this out. Thanks to the power of apology. Hmm, maybe you're right, Daniel. Maybe you're Jetski! Uh, Erico, what have you done? <laughs> Nothing, don't worry, I'll fix that. Jetski! Ah, there it is. Erico! What's going on? Holy no! We broke the hands! What are we gonna do, Erico? Nothing, Daniel. I think this is our life now. We'll just have to get used to it. Hmm. hmm. Forget it, forget it, this'll never work. Let's give the hands back and apologize. We've got no choice. Hmm, maybe that's not a bad idea. The power of apology. Ooh, I'm in a really, really bad mood. Okay, it was a terrible idea. What do you want? It's Daniel. Oh, new hairstyle. No. We stole your hands and I was turned into a rare fish of the deep. Ah. You, you're not mad at us? No. I'll just banish you to another dimension for eternity. You can come back on weekends and school vacations. <sighs> but the tickets will be very expensive and the seat's really uncomfortable! <laughs> Stop! It's not his fault. I stole the hands. Leave him alone. It takes some nerve to dare to steal my hands. And a good deal of courage to own up to it. Does... does that mean you forgive us? Nah, it means I'm gonna punish both of you. <laughs> Oh, no more battery. Don't worry, this will just take a moment. Then I'll punish you. Uh, is anybody hungry? Ah. 
Anyone gonna finish the pasta salad? No thanks, I'm all done. Ah, we're good! They're fully charged. Punishment time! <laughs> <laughs> Forget it, I forgive you. I've stolen a hand or two as well in my time. people that's the power of apology yeah well it's about time i never want to see that awful guy in a bathrobe ever again <laughs> yeah i know he also has terrible breath and talk about a hunchback hmm. oh what i meant was <laughs> huh. hey you think it's too late to apologize hmm.